the point. Everybody that's in this room is in this room for one reason only. Let's just be honest. You're in here because you want to get paid, all right? You're in here because you're trying to get into the NFL, into the CFL, whatever it is, to ultimately get a contract. This is cut the bull, all right? Now, here's one thing I do know about being an athlete. This much will make you this much, okay? So, from a track and field standpoint, if I'm running 10-0, that's gonna give me a certain contract. If I'm running 9-8, that's a whole different tax bracket. Same thing with you guys. If you're running a 4-7, but you can run a four, and you get to a four five, that's a different tax bracket. If you run a four four, you can get to a four three, it's a different tax bracket. Same thing, if you run a four six and you get down to a four four, that's a different tax bracket when you go in. To me, that's what's more important as an athlete when I put on stuff like this. Is it gonna actually help me? Throughout my whole entire Olympic career, countless people approach me, hey, try this, do this, drink this, do that. I don't want it if it ain't gonna work because it ain't beneficial to me. Because at the end of the day, I'm doing this to put food on my table. So I'm not gonna take nothing, I'm not gonna try nothing, I'm not gonna waste my time or your time if it's not gonna be beneficial. So the whole thing, the reason why I fell in love with these shorts because I had margins I had to hit for the Olympic year. I had a chart in my, box, in my chart that my, they put together say, okay, at 10 meters you need to be at this time. At 40 meters you need to be at this time. At 60 meters you need to be at this time. If you hit these numbers, then your contract will be this because you're going to run this on the track. It's the exact same thing with you guys. If you know that you're at a 4-4 and your agent is like, you know what? If we can get you at a 4-5, 4-6, the Buccaneers is going to take you. That's what this does. Literally, literally, that right there. Because when it comes to, I'm not just an Olympian, I'm also a personal trainer. If you want to get faster, it's very simple. If the cone is here and the 40 yard line is there, you want to go this way as fast as possible. You don't want to go that way. If you go that way, you're taking way too many more steps to get there. So what this does is it puts your hips here so you can go this way. Now if you go this way, the margin from your time to come down comes in the distance. Not because you turned over faster, it's because you opened up your stride and you put more force and more power into the ground. That's what happens when your core is underneath you. You get more force and more power into the ground, which propels you that way. I tell my athletes all the time, the clock cannot see you. It doesn't give a damn how you get there. It don't care if you get there in short steps or long steps. When you move, the clock gonna start, and when you get there, it's gonna finish. Who gives a damn how you get there, all right? So if you can get there by maximizing your force into the ground, then guess what, your 40 time just came down. And instead of you getting a minimum $350,000 salary, you just got a million dollars just because you went from a 4.6 to a 4.4. That's the important part. That's the only reason why I'm telling y'all and anybody else. I was a Nike athlete for a decade. Nothing that Nike sent me in those big boxes helped me improve at all. But they wanted me to be fast to keep my money, but they didn't give me anything to help me improve. All my Nike sweats, all that stuff, it did nothing. It just looked good. I'd have much rather had this stuff being sent to me in boxes that's going to help me improve so I can keep my contract. So that's pretty much my spill on it. So at the end of the day, we got a job to do. I had a job to do. You got a job to do. You want to do the best you can at your job because that's going to determine how much money you make. Forget the love of it. We all do what we do because of the love of it. That's why we get to this point. We do love it. We understand that. But at the same time, it's a business. Do this. I love my sport, but at the same time, it's a business. What can I do to make sure that when they see me and they're ready to pay me, I can show them what they need to see? If I go in there with a 4 or 5 and they're like, man, if you can do a 4 or 4, okay, well, give me a, like two weeks. Get your shorts, get you a good trainer, train in the shorts, go run your 4 or 4, and then you just made it. It's really that simple. It's literally that simple. So don't overthink the process of what well, these shorts are gonna do that and do that, because they are. But you also gotta understand that you gotta do something too. If you do just this much, the shorts will do the rest for you. Tell you, trust me, trust me. When I was training for Rio, when they sent me these shorts, within no lie, the, my very next practice, when I was trying to get from zero to 10, in one eight, one seven, it dropped down to one five. Only because my hips was already in place, like JD was saying. 
That is the most important thing. Your core is stable, that power is there. I was able to get in the blocks and put down that power, and then that made the difference to make my time come down. That's it, simple. I'm not gonna talk all day long, because I like talking all day long. I talk all the time, that's what I do. So, um, you guys got it. These shorts here, without a shadow of a doubt, even if you put them on today, you will run faster. You won't feel the difference. Flat out. Not even, I'm not even, I wouldn't even make it up. You don't, if you put them on today and do no training, you're gonna run faster. You have to, because it's science. But to my athletes all the time. Some shit you cannot get around, because it's physics. You put them on, your angles are going to change, which means now your body is going to change, which means it cannot do the same thing. It has to move faster. You guys went to college, you already know that. It's called physics. Hope you didn't sleep through it. That's all I got. Thanks.